I really enjoyed the first season of Rotten on Netflix, so was pleasantly surprised to see a second season arrive. It's a documentary series that uses each episode to focus on one particular subject related to the darker underbelly of the food industry. In season two, avocados, French wine, water, sugar, chocolate, and weed edibles are the subjects covered. Now, on the surface, these might seem like boring subjects for a documentary, but the way the series and each episode's put together, it really gets you thinking about the everyday items that we take for granted, and how many of them often come from a dark backstory that we as the end user know nothing about. The series looks at these backstories and exposes how often huge corporations, or in the case of Avocado's Mexican cartels, get involved and wring it out for massive profit, often at the cost of farmers, villages, towns, and the little people just trying to make an honest living. I found this to be a fascinating insight and a good reminder to be mindful of where my food and products come from. But that too also raises one little issue that I had with it. At its core, this is a dump on huge corporations and the corruption and political influence that goes along with them. There's lots of exposing, but not so much offering of solutions, apart from the chocolate episode where they talked about moving a large part of the production into the hands of locals in Africa. For me, if there were some suggestions on solutions presented, it might have offered a bit of hope rather than being a bit depressing. But overall, they managed to effectively fit a lot of well-researched information into each episode. They combined interviews, B-roll, and on-screen graphics to get their message across. Season 2 was once again engaging, and I'll be checking out the third if they make one. The human population grows every day. The question is how humans provide for each other. What they ought to be thinking about is where does this come from? There are a number of reasons why you need to be skeptical of what you're seeing on the labels. The bottled water industry has made something out of nothing. They get their water from tap water. The focus is just about making money. As long as the farmer is paying the price for our cheap chocolate, there's no way it can be sustainable. You are playing with people's lives. Growing sugar is like printing money. And they would like to do as much of it as possible.